Hey guys, Dusty here, and today I'm bringing you a tutorial on my new channel, which is um, <coughs> Teach Me GFX, which you're watching right now. Um, this channel is going to be about posting Photoshop tutorials, Cinema 4D tutorials, tutorials, etc. So uh, yeah, let's get into the tutorial. So today we're going to be creating an interface type orb like you see right here. Um, not that hard to make. It's pretty nice. And uh, yeah, let's get started. So go ahead and create a new layer, a new composition. Make the dimensions 1280 by 720 or whatever you want. And click OK. Take a dark gray as your foreground color and fill in your background that dark gray. Um, next, grab your elliptical marquee tool. And no, not, it's not even an elliptical marquee tool. Just grab your ellipse ellipse tool and grab a color of your choice I'm gonna call it, grab a um, purple this color is gonna be what your sphere is gonna be so choose wisely and st start dragging out your circle and hold shift on your keyboard so it makes a perfect circle then you could just center it if you want sorry if I'm sniffing a lot I'm kinda sick so uh, yeah now that we got this we're gonna add some effects to it first thing we're gonna do is add a inner glow and make this make sure the size I mean the color is white make sure the blend mode is on soft light make sure the size is all the way up to 250 and the source is to center now we got that go ahead to gradient overlay and keep everything the same just make the blending mode to soft light um so yeah that's pretty much it for the effects for this sphere so if I'm going too fast guys, I'm gonna try and go a bit slower. So next thing you're going on, gonna wanna do is duplicate this layer by hitting control and J on your keyboard or simply right clicking and going to duplicate layer. So for this layer we're gonna drag it under our first layer and right click clear layer style. Next what we're gonna wanna do is hit control and T on this bottom layer and this block should pop up as well as the transform transformation controls up here so go ahead and make the width to 105 and the height to 105 that's gonna enlarge our circle and make a nice black border around it so next what you're gonna wanna do is right click this layer we're gonna add some effects to it go to gradient overlay Make sure that it's your color is a black fading into a dark gray, a really dark gray. Like that. Hit OK. And go to Style, Reflected, Scale to 60%, and press Reverse. So now we got that. Add a Bevel and Emboss. Put the depth all the way up to 1000. Put the size down to about three or four. I'll put it to four. And put the highlight opacity to about 24. Change the angle to 119. And yeah. At next, add a contour. Um, press this little drop down arrow and go to cone. And change the range to 60%. Actually, j just don't even add a contour. It doesn't do much. And uh, this is pretty much good. You can just copy these settings, pause the video if you want. I'm going to move on with the tutorial now. Add a drop shadow. Make sure the distance is to 0. The spread is to 40. And the size is to 30. Turn the opacity down to about 28%. Now we're pretty much done the actual orb now all we need to add is reflections so first thing we're going to want to do is create a new layer in between our first um, sphere and our second sphere so it looks like this um, take your elliptical marked key tool up here and on your new layer make sure you're on your new layer because it's going to mess up your, your uh, thing if you're not on your new layer and basically kind of just make a sphere like this but hold alt 
on your keyboard while you do it. So it's going to look something like this. And then once you get something that you like, something that looks like a bit like this, um, unclick, and now you get this. Right click this, your uh, selection, go to select inverse, and now what we're going to want to do is grab a gradient overlay, make sure the color is white to transparent, and click and drag from the top to the bottom, and now we get something that looks like this. What you're going to want to do now, for this layer, go ahead and right click, create clipping mask, and if it doesn't show like it does for mine, do it again, and it's still not showing. Let me do that again. So, click and drag for the selection, go ahead and go select inverse, gradient, overlay, white to transparent. and click and drag to the bottom and for some reason right it's supposed to go on top of your first layer sorry about that and now you get something that looks like this right click create clipping mask and turn the opacity down to about 16 percent that looks good and once you get this you could erase the edges of it a bit so it just looks like that and turn the opacity a bit, a bit, a bit up. So it looks like this. I got this nice reflection. Next, what you're gonna want to do is go ahead and take your first sphere and click, hold Control, and click on your little um, circle, this little gray thing, and then you should get a selection that goes all around your circle. So then create another new layer and go to your elliptical marquee tool and right click fill. Make sure the color you use is white. Press OK and OK. Now press Ctrl D to deselect and press Ctrl T. Hold down Alt on a keyboard and drag drag one of these sides inwards a bit so you get something that looks like this. Now turn down the opacity to about 15% and we get this nice looking reflection and we're gonna add one more reflection and one more little shadow kind of thing so create another new layer make sure that your foreground color is black and white make sure they have a, take a brush size to, to about 100 pixels and kind of just shade in the corner right there like that turn the opacity down to about 17% and kind of just shade the entire corner like so next what you're going to want to do whoa voice crack next what you're going to want to do create another new layer make sure that all these layers have clipping masks by the way and take your white um, brush and do the same thing in the opposite corner with your right brush and turn the opacity down to about 30% so now we got something that looks like this I'm just going to lower the opacity on this on the shadow a bit so now we got something that looks like this. Um, we're pretty much done, except we need to. We there's one more thing to do, but it's optional. You could just leave your sphere like this and put your text in it. It'll look really nice. Or you could do what I'm about to do. Um, so if you're gonna want to, what you're gonna want to do is go on your um your backing for your sphere. Hit Control T on your keyboard. Make sure the width is 105 by 105. And that's going to increase the size of your back layer. And now you get something that looks like this. Next, what you're going to want to do is click the bottom, your first layer, hold shift, and click your last layer. And it's going to select all of them. Right click them, go to duplicate layers, press OK, and press Ctrl and E to merge them. Now, now you're going to want to release the clipping mask, press Ctrl T, and make this sphere that you just duplicated really 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 small so now we have something that looks like this and basically just fit it until it could fit into one of your black uh, into your black bar so like that Pre control J to duplicate that layer and drag this one to the bottom once again control J and drag it to the middle and then drag it to the right and then once again, Control J and drag it all the way to the left. 
now we have something that looks like this. Nice little interface orb. I mean, I did this really quick. You guys could take your time, obviously, and I'd make every make sure everything's perfect. But to me, this looks good enough. I'll just show you guys what it looks like when I have um when I put my my logo in it, for example. So let me just grab my logo real quick. Go to GFX. Actually, no, I don't have to. I don't even have to do that. Open up my Photoshop. Go to pictures backgrounds and icons and grab my logo so now I'm just gonna edit it make it look good make it smaller and drag it right above my sphere um, layer make sure that clipping mask is you have a clipping mask on it as well and just make it so that it's like centered in your sphere and now I have something that looks like this which is some really nice text in, in my nice interface orb looks really good really professional and um yeah so thanks for watching guys I really appreciate it if you could subscribe if you haven't already and like and comment on this video in what tutorials you want to see next and uh yeah thanks I'm out